diffusions in solid. Eh? Okay, so we have uh, some gel inside a test tube, and then we put a piece of uh, copper sulfate. Eh? Copper sulfate is blue in color, and you need to know the colors of copper sulfate. Okay, so make sure that you remember the colors of copper sulfate. Eh? Because in exam, they will ask you, what's the colors of copper sulfate? Eh? So copper sulfate uh, is blue in color. Uh, after the few days, after the few days, we found that the blue colors of the copper sulfate initially is a piece of crystal here. And uh, this copper sulfate, uh, the blue color spread, okay, spreads to almost the whole gel. Okay, uh, this is something very strange. Why? Because we know that on the surface of the earth, we have gravitational pull, right? So if we have gravitational pull, then the blue color, it should go down, but it shouldn't go up, right? But the fact is that this blue color, it go up, okay? Spreads to the whole uh, gel. So this happened is because uh, diffusions, uh, it's because of diffusion. So how this occurs, uh, how this occurs, now let's say we have uh, the gel here. Let me use the green color to represent the, the particles of the gel. So this is the particles of the gel. Okay, this is the particles of the gel. This is the particles of the copper sulfate. Okay, this copper sulfate. So what happened is that the particles of the copper sulfate it dissolves in the gel, okay, and then it moves randomly. Randomly means that it moves in a direction which cannot be determined. Random directions, okay, it moves here and then bounce back and go down and go here, okay. Uh, that is called the random motions, huh? okay. Random means that uh, cannot be predicted. Random means cannot be predicted. Huh? So the, the directions of the motion is cannot be predicted. It move in randomly, okay. So go up and then uh, bounce back, okay. Hit this one and go bounce, okay, and go up. And uh, due to these random motions, the random motions of all these uh, particles of the copper sulfate, uh, so the blue copper sulfate move up to the gel. And this process is called diffusions. Uh, diffusions is from high concentrations of copper sulfate. Uh, this is high concentrations okay this area the concentrations of the copper sulfate is high and this area the concentration is lower okay so the particles it will move from high concentrations to low concentrations okay so this process is called diffusions for diffusions uh, there's one thing that you need to know is the particles, it diffuse from high concentrations to low concentrations. So at this area, at this area, the concentrations of the uh, copper sulfate is high. This area, the concentrations of the copper sulfate is low. Okay. And the particle, it will move from high concentrations to low concentrations. Okay. Even though this is against gravity, yeah? against gravity. According to the pools of the gravity, it should go down, eh? but it go up. Because this part, the concentration is high and this part, the concentration is low. Okay, so in your definitions, you must state that diffusion is a process resulting from random motions of molecule by which there is a net flows of matter from regions of high concentrations to a regions of low concentration. When you define this, you must state this. It must be from regions of high concentrations to the regions of low concentrations.